Rule Agro versus Spirit. Oh, Nante goes first. Mm. Not really great on per to be honest, but I'll keep. I can discard stuff, yeah. Next turn, I can do this. Double strike, okay. First strike, okay. So I can get, I can get through that. See if I can get Delirium. Get back this guy. And we have Delirium. Alright, perfect. Now I can attack. Target this creature. For damage, I'm going to do this. some double strike. Okay, that was a pretty decent turn, I would say. Oh, wow. Okay, I still have this, so I still get the double, but that's not gonna... Wait. The C, the C note scout is not gonna get through that. Uh, it's gonna die in the process. However, that's fine for me, I would almost say. Nah, let's not attack. Stay back for now. I don't expect sweepers looking at this mana base. Door. This is an artifact. This is an enchantment. So those are both targets. So this violent urge is nice because it'll get me through some whatever I'm, is blocked. The fungus is a problem. On it is they definitely thinking. Okay. Interesting. How many more? <clears throat> Four or more? Ah, of different card types. That's okay. Um, I can still exile. An, I have an instant. All right. All right. I can play the gorge. I can attack with. Uh, it'll get plus one and double strike. So this and this. So 
getting through again, but now things are gonna get close. The curator can grow. Hopefully. However, now it's gonna be starting to get to be difficult to get through. How am I gonna get through? Uh, what is it exiled here? Creature land instant. Planeswalker, but then I will lose my um, <clears throat> other deliriums, which is basically this and this. So I can attack first and turn this into a 7-7. Seven, seven. And this into only a f with the ridge five. Let's attack with this guy only. Okay, to damage then. Wants to do this. Flood mommy. Sure. Uh, until your next turn. Hmm. I'm just going to play the beastie and call it a day. Six lands. Ten lands and this green shell will do some stuff. I think I'm starting to get loose here. That's too much value and too much power amassing on the other side. And I can't get rid of the green shell, which would be the prerequisite here. But let's go. Okay, wow, I didn't really see how that wins me the game, but I'm I'll take it. Um and the opponent quit. Okay, I'll take that. I wasn't sure of victory at all, but just not conceding is enough sometimes, it seems. So on to match two weeks. Rule Agro versus Lenzior. It goes first, I will keep. Let's start milling. This breakout is pretty sweet, but I'm gonna start with this guy. Yeah. 
Well, Breakout would have been better there, but who knows, the opponent could have had another kind of counter magic there. Plus, now I'm already at three, so I can maybe with this... Well, let's mill first, and maybe even reach Delirium there, so we got it. Um, forest, a Breakout. Yeah. Yep. So, two beasties. Alright, opponent's actually it's wow, pretty ballsy almost, I would say. Attack for three, for nine. Another Bren. Not really. Okay. The Violent Urge. Is that enough? Oh, yeah, it's exactly enough. Break free and, fight. and there's the Double Strike. Forest for the win. Okay, <clears throat> what will we need? F some forges. Enchantment. Hmm. I think that's it. One less Wren. One cr less crank her bloom. One less. Two less obliterating bolts. Let's bring in a... Let's keep the Bren then. All right, let's go. Oopsie daisy. Finally playing some aggro instead of some mid always mid range and control and ram. It's a welcome change here and there. Um yeah. Uh, next turn is the question already. Um, probably this guy. Because this is always good to get in the graveyard as well. Alright, getting two map tokens. That's not too bad. Next turn I can beastie into map token. Or now I can just play out the forge. Oh, nice. Not getting this countered. Okay. Another forge. Coming up. What do I need? I only have creature and artifact. I can get an instant. It's pretty nice, but basically only a one for one. Oh, another deduce, not a... No counter spell there. 
So are these forges going to be enough to run away with this game? Opponent was only to one for one, one of them so far. End of turn, I'll seed of hope. Then I can start using the rift, the ridge line as well. Here comes Ren. So let's go with the breakout first. Okay, opponent is digging deep. We'll take a beastie. damage. Perfect. So the monstrous rage gives one toughness as well. And there we go! Another victory! Nice! Making short work of Azorius control as well. Oh, nice. Thanks to the forges here for sure. The forges are definitely good against control. All right, on to match number three. Gruul Agro versus Fundraiser. I'll play first, and I will I will keep because of this seed of hope. This seed of hope gives me hope. All right, found the land. Perfect. No, let's go straight into this guy. Next turn I can discard the patchwork beastie to get, or the, this one, to get the uh, delirium immediately. Question is now, is the opponent gonna... <clears throat> let's attack first. And then just go with a Keynote Curator then. Yeah, Owen's already has to decide if they want to block the kind of deal with this. All right. I can ensure delirium next turn by ditching the either the wicker folk or the beastie because that'll add artifact. <laughs> However, fear of missing out needs to resolve in in order for that to work out. is thinking. Alright, 
like finally found an island to play. And passes the turn. So I will do this first. See if this resolves. If not, I'll just drop the beast here. I could have played the introduced this, but it's fine. I'm actually gonna Okay. Ah damn it. Should have attacked first. Maybe it would have been the same result, it seems. Um this point I could almost discard the ridge line, but it's nice to have. Hmm. I'm actually going to discard the ridge line. The restless reef is a problem, but it cannot be activated currently. Take action. Some more haste and delirium. Perfect moment as the opponent cannot activate the restless reef yet. I will not commit any more creatures to the board. Yeah, this might get killed in response, but that's to be expected. Oh, a tide binder, interesting. Okay. Sure. Still no still having three creatures attack you here at the moment. How will you block? I'm not going to extend anymore. No sweeper then. Ah, Milda Brand. Okay. Well, 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 well. Um, let's just attack, right? No, let's. No, this is going to work. Okay, let's attack. Gotcha, because of Trample. Nice. Okay, game one in the books. Um, okay, so Demir Control, it seems. Some Forges. And that's basically it. I don't need the Obliterating Bolts. I don't need... I can go down one Urge. Okay.
Game two, match three. Match three, game two. Opponent goes first. Yeah. Hmm. Gonna have to start slow here, unfortunately. Pretty slow. With a bat. Taking the bread. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um. Uh, I could place not no no point. So tie binder can do deal with the forge. And with a Vren, so it doesn't really matter. It's going to be one of the two. Oh, these are just f mountains currently. So the Tide Binder's going to come down. Okay, I think I'm. This one is lost to me already. Nope, I'm not getting through. I can only run. I am the nexus of all that is. Please, give us more time. Yeah, I think this is game. This is then game over. Opponent's Reef is active as well, and they have a Tide Binder already, and a Shieldred on the field, so I'm not losing, I'm not winning on the battlefield and in hand. So I guess a few too many lands here and a too slow of a start. Those ridges can sometimes be a little bit clunky, I guess. Oh, I can play the Violent Urge. Okay. I can block Shield and then play Violent Urge. Blockers here, damage here. Oh, but that's not going to be enough. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough anyway, so let's go. Let's go on to game number three here then. Um, hmm. Four damage. So, Shielded is a big problem for me, like really big. There's no way I'm getting around it. I'm gonna bring in two removal spells though. Three actually. I'm gonna get rid of a Cranker Bloom and a Key Knight Curator and a Wicker Folk. And a Wren. Four Wrens is a little bit too much. Okay. So, need a fast good start here. Alright, 
got some lands that work out pretty good. All right, there we go. Two lands. Um, all right, let's break out. At least I can attack with that. And uh, next, how can I get this higher? I cannot easily at the moment. Probably going to take the wicker folk. Hmm, hard to say, Bren is also an option. Milling a land here, which means I have delirium if I play the violent urge. Hmm. However, I'm just going to play this. All right, the two urges now. Okay. All right, let's get in there. This is two, one or two more turns of chance here. Uh, all right, let's play an urge. Oh no 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 no! no wait, let's attack. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna not worry about the beastie. Unfortunately, I don't want to will get blown out by the opponent playing a removal spell in response to my violent urge. That's the that's the problem here. Ooh, interesting. Will this gain double strike? I can make it three, four, five double striker. Let's see what happens here first. All right. This only has first strike now, so now I'm going to make it have double strike. Putting the opponent at two, and I hope that's enough. I can get rid of an instant for my curator. Question, yeah, I kind of gave, put everything on the table here now. Next turn, if I draw an untapped land, I'll have the verge. Okay, opponent probably didn't see that. They didn't see that coming. The beastie can now attack and block. Okay, nice. Another victory. Gruul aggro. Turning some creatures sideways here for, for a change. Okay, on to match four we go. Final match for time. Standard <laughs> Gruul aggro versus Mac Fadden. <laughs> Waiting on thy opponent. Let's see what you got, McFadden. Which deck are you bringing to the table? To the tabletop. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. Turn to Wicker Folk or Fear Homo. Here I could ditch a land, which could be sweet. I'm just gonna go with the Wicker Folk. It's always nice. It always does good things to the graveyard. Um, because it's double delirium. It's like two out of four already. Oh, that's bad. 
That's bad. Uh, Brent's not gonna do much. Um, let's attack first. Discard a forest. That was a good choice. And pass the turn. End of turn, Seed of Hope, and then I need to get some pressure on immediately. Yeah, this is already looking pretty bad. Hmm. How are we going to handle this? It's oh, wait a minute. Violent Urge. <clears throat> Don't have to leave so it's just plus one, plus zero, and first strike. Which is not enough. I'm not going to have to hold back here, which is always bad. Especially with the opponent having the Annex around, and they can almost make another 6-6 six, six Demon. Or just make another 6-6 six, six Demon like this. Alright, end of turn. I will do this. Uh, is there anything else? I cannot really do it. Uh, anything else? Hmm. Bren is not going to be um, enough. Just a 3-3 land is not going to be sufficient. A violent urge is not enough. Because without the double strike it's not going to work. I think I basically can concede here. I don't see how much I can do anything else. Yeah, in the Nature hmm. has not abandoned me. I guess I have to attack with everybody. And just get in there. Oh, but now that I'm just going to get attacked for 12. Yeah, this was lost. This was a lost cause, so fine. Just attack me to death. Yeah, going to draw, going to gain life and destroy one of my creatures. And exile my graveyard. And attack me. Okay. Well, that didn't work out too well. What do we need? This annex is going to be a problem. So let's bring in some haywire mites, some paw patches, and two abraskas, and an obliterating bolt. Okay, getting rid of two wrens, um, and curator, an urge, two urges, and this. What else? All right, let's do it like this. All right, need to be quick, super quick. Uh, yeah. Turn one beastie. Oh, that's good. That is artifact creature, and I can discard only an instant or sorcery here. So it's not gonna. I'm not gonna get to an attack here, unfortunately. Oh, I can with the seed of hope. Alright, 
keep up the violent urge. Alright, this looks like a good start. I'm actually going to discard the land. Well, I could have played this land instead of this land if I had done that differently a little bit, but okay. Alright, here's the Annex coming down, so we need to be fast now. Oh, that's good. Let's just get rid immediately get rid of that. Keep hitting with the beastie, have a violent urge up a bolt and a wren. Yeah, that's that's the problem. But okay, now with this urge, I think we're good. Oh, destroy a target creature with flying. That's pretty good. And pass. The opponent has a restless cottage. There's a frill back. That's unfortunate. However, let's see. Yeah, okay. Only the grave. Uh, let's do this. I burn with power. My voice beckons to all worlds. Give it for a strike. <laughs> okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, that's pretty nice. One doesn't seem to have much else. Hmm. This can attack on its own. No, it cannot. Let's protect Ren here for a turn. <laughs> sure. Oh, I can do it again. All right, we have some options here. Uh, this already instant, so this is not gonna, I can exile a land with it and a sorcery, so I could do it. But if the opponent has a removal spell, that look, that's gonna end up pretty awkward, but let's go. Uh, destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment. Hmm, hmm. the wicker fog is just a 3 3 here. Still, I'm gonna take that. Sorcery, hmm, I can still do this. I can remove a land. And a source instant. Wait, in no, 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 it has to be sorcery. Yeah, the opponent sees this. 
All right, now it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, getting in some damage there, potentially. Alright, that was unfortunate. Still gonna get in for five. Just putting the opponent at four. Now my friend dies, and I think I'm in trouble. What do I need now? The opponent has the Restless Cottage on defense, but now I have both creatures active. So I think I'm good. I think I'm pretty close. Ah, okay, now that changes things a little bit. Oh, can exile one of those at least. And attack with both, and due to Trample, I may be successful here. Thanks to Trample. Oh no, the food, okay. Opponents no. at two. Okay. One's at five. Just need a haste creature. No haste creature. Let's attack. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Close game though. Fair game, close game. But now I'm gonna lose. The Archfiend is definitely a strong card. So, uh... All right, having one out of one loss, three wins is still fine. And this is then also, I mean, the mid-range decks can then kind of stall out the aggro decks. That's how this cycle goes. Um, but anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. Have fun. See you in the arena and peace.